In 1998, I remember starting my political career as a freshman senator in the 11th Congress of the Philippines. I was ranked first, garnering over half the total votes, the youngest senator, and one of only two women senators that time. Perhaps a very green senator, but I wasn't hurled accidentally into the position. I certainly worked hard for it. I was anxious at the same time, very excited to do the work I believe I was born to do. And I've always been deeply motivated. I want to be a public servant leader who will strive to do relevant and meaningful work. And so even then, I've always been focused on certain issues that I'm passionate about. I was chairperson for committees on environment and economic affairs. Before I turned 40, I found myself being named as one of the global leaders for tomorrow in the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. Then, the United Nations Environment Program Award in Turin, Italy in 2001. All the while offering legislation benefiting women and children's rights, including the Anti-Domestic Violence Act, Anti-Child Labor Law, the Anti-Trafficking in Persons Act, I also sponsored into law the Ecological Solid Waste Management Act and most of the environmental laws. And by 2001, I was voted Senate Majority Floor Leader, the first and only woman to occupy such post. I continued my work as legislator and ran another term, and I was once again proclaimed number one senator in the 2007 senatorial elections, garnering the most number of votes and holding the distinction of being the only woman senator to top the Senate race twice. More work, more laws, more advocacies. And in this 14th Congress, I was again chairperson of the following committees. But as the expression goes, there is no rest for the weary. For the next 12 years, I continue the work as senator in the 15th, 16th and 17th Congresses of the Philippines, still advancing my passion and advocacies and chairing the committees on climate change, foreign relations, finance, and even cultural communities. I'm extremely proud of the tangible achievements that I've made as Senator. But beyond the laws and the bills, I've managed to tirelessly work on my advocacies. In 2009, we passed into law the landmark Philippine Climate Change Act, of which I was principal author and sponsor. In June that same year, I delivered the keynote speech at the Forum on the Human Impact of Climate Change in Geneva, reiterating the need for a new brand of politics and governance to address the growing climate disaster risks. And there I introduced the Legarda Doctrine, a new development thinking and a more holistic development philosophy founded on sustainable and equitable socio-economic ecosystems and governance. By December of the same year, I also spoke on climate change legislation at the United Nations Climate Change Conference in Copenhagen, Denmark, calling on parliamentarians to initiate legislation to address climate change issues. I've also been a longtime advocate of preserving our national identity and culture and the ancestry of indigenous peoples. I've been bestowed the following titles by various indigenous peoples groups. I was also the prime architect and main driving force behind the country's return to the prestigious Venice Biennale, the Olympics of the contemporary art world all after 51 years of absence. Amidst all these, I continue my work and dedication to public service. My cup overflows, and I'm equally humbled and overwhelmed. I'm immensely grateful to all those who have helped me through these years. I remember the faces of people who acknowledged me, trusted me, gave me full support. I will be forever thankful. But more than all the chairmanships that I have led, more than the laws and the bills that I have helped legislate, and even more important than the recognition, 
the accolades and the awards, I am extremely proud of the people I've been able to help, the children, the women, the families and communities, the indigenous peoples, the farmers, fisher folks, the so-called last, least, and the lost. I am inspired by them. I am motivated, encouraged, and moved by them. And I continue to have them in my mind and in my heart as I proceed with my life work as public servant leader. I am yours humbly, Lauren Legard.